Hey everyone, and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons for another Patreon Lick of the Week. Today I'm going to be breaking down for you a very cool Jimi Hendrix Voodoo Child inspired repetition lick. Now, repetition licks are those face melting, really fast style licks that we use to stretch out our solos and also add a little bit of tension for our listeners. I'm going to have all the tabs available as usual at patreon.com slash lessons, where if you become a premium member, you can actually get extended cuts from these Lick of the Week lessons, grab a couple of extra licks and some additional tabs. Now, let's get started with your lesson. One, two, three, four. look at the fretboard getting started with our lick of the week a Hendrix style repetition lick very similar to the things that you can hear him do in Voodoo Child so one more time the lick sounds like this and repetition licks are great for filling the space in your solos but also building the tension the audience is very receptive to repetition and it gives you as the musician uh, an opportunity to throw in something that was unexpected or to think about something else that you might want to do such as moving into another position Okay, so this is a lick that's coming from the blues scale in the key of E. Really, it's just pentatonic scale, but because I'm going to be uh, showing a few extra licks for the premium members of the Patreon page, I'm going to be sharing with you the blues scale, which is a bit more useful. Okay, so that blues scale in the key of E, 12th fret, sounds like this. So that was 12 to 15, 12, 13, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 15, 12, 15, and 12, 15. Okay, and on your tab you'll notice that all of the roots are highlighted in red. Okay, so that's Blues 101 right there. Uh, so many different possibilities just laying and waiting in that scale. Okay, fantastic. Now that you have the source scale down, that E minor blues scale, we could jump into the lick of the week. One more time, real slow, the lick's gonna sound like this. And at full speed. Okay, so that began uh, by bending the G string, 14th fret, up a whole step to 16. Next we're going to have 12, 12 on the B and high E string, with a bar. And that's a very, very common way of entering into a lick in the blues and also rock genre. After that we're going to get into our repetition cycle. So that was 15 on the B a bend with the middle finger on the G string, and then your pointer finger is going to play the 12th fret of the B string. So 15, G string 14, with a bend, and 12th fret B string, nice and plain. Now how far you bend that 14th fret G string is up to you, it could be a half step or a full step. And how many times you repeat that cycle is up to you. It depends on what you need in your solo. And notice how my pick starts to alternate, especially as I start to get faster with it. Okay, so so far we have. So on your tablature, I repeated that cycle three times. Then I'm going to finish it up with. All right, very cool little uh, end into this lick. Just bend in the 14th fret G string with the ring finger. Returning, pulling off to the 12th fret, and then a vibrato on the 14th fret D string. 
which is highlighted in red, which means it's a root. That means that the lick resolves there. You put it all together and we have. For your lick of the week. All right, everyone, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on a Jimi Hendrix repetition lick. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much to my supporters at patreon.com slash swiftlessons for all your support. I hope you're enjoying the extra resources. I got many more lessons coming up, so keep checking back. Please subscribe, please share. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking. One, two, three, four.